A large part of writing Java programs is making up names to call things. There are some rules and some conventions that determine how these names are formed. First, let's look at the rules. Java is case sensitive. As far as Java is concerned, there is no relation whatsoever between the uppercase letters and the lowercase letters. The first character of any name can be an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a dollar sign, or the underscore character. It's not really a good idea to begin a name with a dollar sign or an underscore because these characters are used for some internal stuff, and they're used a lot when names are generated from an IDE. Some IDEs generate code using names like this in an attempt to not conflict with anything that you come up with. The characters in a name can be anything that the first character can be, and it can also be any digit. That is, any of these characters can be used, but you cannot begin a variable name with a digit zero through nine. Now, those are the rules. Some names are already taken and used as keywords, but everything else is open for use. The names of classes and interfaces are usually in mixed case and begin with a capital letter. These are some examples of class names in the Java API. Members of classes, methods, and data items and such are also in mixed case, but they usually begin with a lower case letter. These are some examples of class members. The only other naming convention that's used anywhere near consistency is for constants. They are usually named with all uppercase letters. These also have a tendency to include the underscore character. Now, these naming conventions are not enforced by the language; they are just guidelines. You'll find these naming conventions used throughout Java, even inside the classes that make up the Java API. But you'll find exceptions too. But if you follow these simple guidelines, you can write code that's a lot easier to read and to understand.